Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty cool things to go over because TCG Live has just been announced for the Pokemon trading card game. We have some Legends Arceus brochures, meaning they're promoting the game even more now. And we have some other stuff to go over, Pokemon Unite, etc, etc. So if you guys are excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really does help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video subscribe if you're brand new we do daily pokemon content on this channel ring that notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's take a look at the newly announced pokemon tcg live didn't really expect this to be fair kind of came out of nowhere pokemon just seemed to be announcing everything right now that they're just getting more and more money for so they're really just dominating the market in every way shape and form but anyway this is an article posted on pokey jungle will be linked in the description down below and basically they posted a trailer for tcg live today as well as a bunch of screenshots and stuff and, and what it is 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 basically the pokemon trading card game for your mobile phone which is kind of really really good and i'm really really excited for it um dual links obviously did very very well for Yu-Gi-Oh, and i feel like the pokemon tcg is going to do even better but anyway this is what the article says it says the successor to the pokemon tcg online program and app has been officially revealed players will soon be able to play the tcg game through pokemon trading card game live on pc mac and mobile devices for the first time, players will be able to play right from their phones. So I don't know if they're actually just scrapping the Pokemon trading card game kind of app thing that's been on the PC and everything for as long as we can remember. I don't know if they're just completely getting rid of that or what. Um, but yeah, this is basically the trailer for Pokemon trading card game live. It's only 20 seconds long um, and it just basically just shows like a bunch of different Pokemon, the Pokeball and then just some cards. And then it just kind of goes on to like the mobile phone. And then that's it. So it's basically, like I said, it's just Pokemon TCG, but on your mobile, which again, I think will do really well. A lot of things are kind of moving towards mobile now. And it is only a matter of time until the Pokemon TCG did as well. Anyway, it says, like the previous game, Live will allow you to build decks from your collection of cards. Collections will be transferred over when you log in with the same Pokemon Trainer Club account. So yeah, don't threat. If you're, um, obviously, if you're an avid user of the Pokemon trading card game online, and you've got like a massive set of cards there. You've got all these incredible decks and everything. Don't worry. If you just sign into Pokemon TCG Live with your trainer account, everything will just transfer across. Because imagine the, the the anarchy if they just didn't allow you to change everything across. That'd be crazy. Anyway, it says you can play with friends and customize your accessories. There will be both casual battle options as well as competitive ranked mode. So again, I'm already loving what I'm hearing. Like I'm loving competitive. Um, so I'm, I'm very glad that's a thing. But anyway, these are some screenshots. Obviously, you have like your um, character there. Then there's a battle pass. Like I say, it's a money maker. But yeah, you get things with a battle pass. So it allows access to eight booster packs, uh, 50,000 credits, avatar items, crystals, coins, collector pack. And it says receive these water rewards imme immediately, which is eight booster packs, collector packs. But it's basically just... Yeah, I don't know. Battle Pass, I'm, I'm surprised they did this, but I guess it's just another way of making money. And this is kind of what the game looks like, so it looks clean, man. And this is obviously, like, the cards you've collected and stuff. I'm not sure if you can, like, put your TCG card codes from, like, packs onto the game. I'm not sure if that's the thing, or you can just only buy packs on, on the actual thing, but... We'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, this is kind of like the menu and stuff. So you've got like your crystals and everything. This just feels like Pokemon Unite with like your AOS coins, your gems and your tickets. Literally the exact same thing. So maybe Pokemon Unite did like really well and they were like, oh, all right. Yeah, we'll throw that on this. Um, but yeah, that's just all the images there. Um, but we've got a bunch of more information as well. That was just from Pokey uh, Jungle. We have some more stuff. Oh, that's from Cerebro. Yeah, basically just confirming that, um, yeah, once you log in, everything just sends across. So uh, we have a teaser here. Um, this was tweeted out from Pokey Experto. So this is just a video of um obviously pokemon tcg live and like the battles and stuff like that so as you can see the animations and the effects are really good as well um i'm a, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this i think i'm gonna play it quite a bit i'm not a huge like i don't know a lot about pokemon tcg like how to i mean i know how to play but i never really fully got stuck into it but when you're on your mobile it's just so much easier to play um whereas like you have to go to your computer and stuff to play so yeah i think i think i'm definitely gonna be pick, pick, picking this up a lot but yeah, obviously all the different cards and stuff you can play. And again, I'm just really, really excited about the like the rank mode as well. This is some more screenshots here. So this seems to be... I don't really know what this is. I, th I think this is like the battle thing because we have ranked here and then casual. So I guess that's, yeah, your person and then like what deck you're using and stuff. And then your battle pass. 
Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be challenges and stuff for the battle pass. I'm guessing there will be. Um, but yeah, it'll be an interesting battle pass, that's for sure. And that's just, I guess, your collection or something. Um, and then that's just what it looks like on the actual uh, field. Uh, we have some more screenshots here. I, actually, I think these were the ones from Poke Jungle. Uh, well, well, similar ones, basically. We've got Dragapult there just kind of showing it off. Um, etc, etc. Good stuff there. And then we have some more information here. So this is Pokemon cards and packs will be more easily acquired in Pokemon TCG Live with micro payments. So again, just kind of honing in more on the fact that you have to pay for more stuff. Um, again, it, it's going to be free to download, obviously, but there's just going to be micro transactions just like Pokemon Unite, um, where you can obviously spend more money to get more packs, to get better decks and stuff. So basically pay to win, I'm guessing, is, is, is the avenue this game is going to be taking, which seems to be the case for a few games at the moment. Uh, this is the actual announcement of, of it and like what it looks like and stuff, the actual like screen and everything. So yeah, we've got obviously uh, G Max Pikachu there um, and then the Pokemon TCG Live uh, logo. Here we have some more stuff. So uh, we've got some more details about Pokemon TCG Live tweeted out from Poke Experto. Um, so they say there will be no chat. There will be no card exchange and almost all TCG uh, cards are transferred, but not all other things. And then TCGO closes before the new global TCG Live beta program comes out. So yeah, trading card game online actually is, is gone. It's going to go, um, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, this is kind of just what the thing says. So Pokemon TCG online players will not be able to transfer the following content to Pokemon TCG Live. So Pokemon TCG cards from the Hot Gold and Soul Silver series, avatar items, unopened products and bundles, certain coins, cards, leaves and deck boxes, in-game currency, your friends list and your saved deck list as well. Um, but these, these are the things that you can transfer across. So Pokemon TCG cards from Sword and Shield series, Sun and Moon, yada, yada, yada. And then many coins, card sleeves, and deck boxes are transferable with a maximum of one copy per item. Additional copies of coins, card sleeves, and deck boxes will not be transferred. So I don't know. I feel like that's worded interestingly. I'm not sure how much stuff you're actually going to be able to send across. But I don't know why you can't just send your friends list across. That just feels like really annoyingly bad i don't know but we have some more stuff here the development of pokemon tcg live will be internal to the pokemon company international until now tcg online was handled by developer die wolf digital um and then we're finally done with the tcg stuff um we have here which says information on the launch of the new pokemon tcg live app so later this year there's going to be a pilot launch in canada canada gets everything what they got the beta for pokemon unite now they're getting the beta for this so i bro canada's kind of they're popping off but yeah, they get the Canada for iOS and Android beta worldwide for PC and Mac. So yeah, you, you can play basically play this anywhere at the same time, but only on your PC and Mac, uh, whereas Canada and uh, they get the iOS and by Android beta. And then sometime later, the global launch and user uh, migration uh, from TCG Online. So yeah, that's all the Pokemon TCG. I did, honestly did not think I'd be speaking this much about this, but it was just a massive thing confirmed today. Next up, we're going to be moving on to Pokemon Legends Arceus brochure. So unfortunately, there's no new information in these. It was tweeted out on the 16th of September, but again, the fact that they're just developing more and more stuff for these games just kind of shows... Um, more promotional material so again there's supposed to be some sort of direct happening soon so maybe we'll get some more information about it on that but we'll just have to wait and see but anyway this was another tweet from Poke Experto saying promotional brochures for Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl distributed in Japan they do not include new information um so yeah this is obviously just what the brochures look like I, I would just like to get them I don't know I just I like having things like this about like upcoming games and stuff but yeah this is what is in the brochure so obviously you open it you got all the new characters and stuff um the new forms you got Hisuian Growlithe, Basque Legion, Weird Deer. You got the starters there, the protagonists. You got like the crafting and stuff, and and obviously when the game comes out and everything. Oh, I also think that that is the uh, yeah, that's the Legends Arceus uh, card that you get for um, pre-ordering it in Japan. And then we have the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl one. Again, all the characters down there, just some gameplay um, screenshots and stuff. Uh, version exclusives are there because obviously you can see that Kranidos with Dialga and then uh, Sh uh, Shield on with Palkia. The starters are there, and then I guess some I don't know pretty. Pretty well-known Generation 4 Pokemon there. Um, and then you've got the, the Underground and stuff. And then obviously the, what you get for pre-ordering. And then you've also got the Switch Lite as well. So yeah, just some more promotional stuff for the games. Hopefully that does mean we do get some new information soon. Um, next up, we do have uh, some Pokemon United stuff to go over to finish the video off with. So uh, basically, as we all know, the mobile version of Pokemon Unite is coming out very, very soon. 
It's tomorrow, actually, I think. But it says the official website, Pokemon Unite, has updated the information on linking other accounts of the game in versions of Nintendo Switch and mobile. Remember to link your Nintendo or Pokemon account and upload your save data first. Otherwise, you'll have to reinstall on mobile. So, yeah, basically, uh, just allows you to be able to play your same account on the Switch and mobile. Um, so, yeah, you probably want to do that at some point. And then finishing things off on Wednesday, we have a new Holloware coming for Garchomp which obviously is being released on the 22nd of Pokemon uh, of September. A few people think we're going to get a new character dropping on Wednesday as well. Obviously, we do know Mamoswine's on the way and Sylveon. Um, they're the ones that have been confirmed. There's also a couple more as well. I think like Greedent and stuff and Nidoking that haven't been confirmed, but it was seen in like the beta, like the files or something like that. But either way, that is pretty much going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. It really does help out. Let's try and hit 500. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. What do you guys think about TCG online uh, or live, whatever it's called? Uh, would you think you're going to be playing it? Uh, also, yeah, just everything else that we covered. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.